70% of rural Tanzanians own chickens. We traveled to Tanzania and did a very in-depth dive of kind of the full chicken farming ecosystem. Tanzanian chicken farmers need a predictable way to go from egg to chick so they can reliably depend on their chickens as a source of income. Kukua is a combination of two Swahili words, kuku, meaning chicken, and kukua itself, which means to grow. The kukua incubator is something that allows smallholder chicken farmers to artificially incubate at home for the first time. There are, of course, other ways to, to hatch eggs. A hen could do it. What ends up happening, though, is that a hen that sits on an egg needs to be there for three weeks and then another three weeks after the chicks hatch to provide them warmth. Their hormones need to get back in check before they start laying. By allowing people to artificially incubate, which lets you create twice as many birds as natural incubation, just by the speed of repeatability. There's other forms of artificial incubation. Some people have um, someone in their community who has stored up enough money to buy a large industrial scale incubator and they might be renting out uh, slots for people to come pay, you know, 50 cents, etc., to to put an egg or, or put in a dozen, 30 eggs into their incubator and hope to get chicks back. The problem is these incubators and, and some of the even smaller ones still run on grid power. Kakua uses only 30% of the power that another one of those would, so it's much more efficient, and that means that it can be run on a very small battery system. What we've done by creating a, an energy efficient incubator is allow these people to pair up with the many off-grid solar and uh, microgrid solar systems that are out there uh, and be able to take advantage of artificial incubation, make it affordable and viable for these farmers and therefore increase their income by up to 10 to 45 percent per month. Thank you. The iShow process has been super helpful. I mean, this is really going to be beneficial if we can yeah. hammer down on like manufacturing. Like, what are your manufacturing challenges, or how do you want to lower your costs? One of the big things that we uh, got a jump start on was trying to switch our, our method of producing our units. We've started making molds for casting foam rather than um, doing a very expensive machining process, and hopefully that'll help us produce the same prototypes at third of the cost that, that we were doing before. Similarly with our printed circuit boards, you know, we just got some great ideas on how to go from having two printed circuit boards, which is about double the cost, to having one, uh, which would be fantastic for affordability. Another of the problems that they zeroed in on was durability. As it stands, our prototypes are mostly made of a foam. We'd like something a little more robust that can be used in the field for months to years at a time without being damaged by being dropped or repeatedly cleaned. iShow funding and support has given us the focus that we needed to sort of reach these next mile markers as a company. We found that there's about 350 million off-grid chicken farmers around the world. And we think these are the people who could really benefit from having a product like Kukua and help them not only improve the, the reliability, the resilience of their, their chicken-related uh, income, but also their energy access. And hopefully through doing that, maybe make a, a dent in, in UN Sustainability Goal 7, which is uh, energy access for all.